Hello and welcome to the October 2022 channel update for the Hammock J channel. Uh, it's a doozy. All right. So, uh, since last update, which I believe was July, I totally forgot about August and uh, September. Uh, we've gone up uh, 320. Uh, we're three, thir 2382 now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, digging it. Uh, thank you all for the support and uh, joining the channel. Uh, but let's go, let's jump into business here. Uh, so, the current series I got going on uh, on the channel we have the Zek Brothers, the uh, Warrior Shaman duo that's really just merged into a stream series of me doing raids, which I don't find as entertaining, and I'm sure most people don't, but. Uh, uh, I'm going to continue doing it until, uh, till the end, uh, just because I like recording the raids and, uh, kind of gives a little background info. A lot of people in the guild like to watch them. I've gotten a few comments from people in game that watch them too. So I am going to continue doing that. Uh, it's been less about the warrior shaman, more about, uh, doing DKP loot <laughs> and stuff like that. But, uh, I am, uh, I'm going to be. Let's see here. I got the bard. I got a warrior, a bard, a cleric, and a monk that I bring on uh, the raids right now. I'm going to bring a beast lord and a shaman. I'm going to be six boxing raids uh, when Luckland drops. Uh, so that'll be that'll be interesting. I'm going to be bringing the shaman from now on uh, sooner or later. I need to get him... Uh, I ordered more computers. <laughs> I'm just waiting for those to come in to get everybody set up. I can I can do nine boxing right now, but it's like on laptops across the room, and it, it just it's not as convenient to me the way I'd like right now. So uh, that'll that'll be interesting. Uh, I can only show the warrior because uh, I can't like, switch to the other screens and stuff. But I am making a video on uh, how I do my true boxing and uh, stuff like that. So. That'll be interesting when that comes out. Uh, then the other series that I've kind of put on hold because of uh, the Yellenax stuff is the Sons of Thule series, which is currently the Shadow Knight, Shaman Bard, Beast Lord, and Monk series, uh, progressing through the uh, all the progression quests in the game. Uh, it's Verona Vi based. Uh, I'm gonna be moving from uh, using IS Boxer to True Box when I start doing it again. Uh, pretty much I've come custom to using true box and it has become easier for me to true box than it has been to as you uh, as uh, instead of doing is boxer right like in is boxer you have to kind of configure everything you know you gotta like you gotta make sure that when you hit four four does what you want on all the all the different boxes and I'm you know that's not as fun like uh i feel limiting right i've gotten pretty good from playing the zach brothers that i can do uh i can do nine characters even with the laptops across the room uh as well as i can do is boxer and it gives me the you know gives me the power to do things simultaneously right like i can move one like i can have a tank doing the tank you know tanking a mob right uh, while that's happening, I can move a monk, I can move a bard, I can make sure the cleric is healing the correct people in the group instead of trying to, like, make it work. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, so this, this series is going to move to true box. I'm going to make it a six box team. Uh, currently it's uh, five with the uh, Beast Lord monk being added to the original three. Uh, I'm thinking of a cleric as the sixth member, but uh, I am open to suggestions. Uh, for the sixth member. So if you have a suggestion, which I should do for the sixth, I don't think another melee is going to be in the cards. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I could, uh, at the moment, I might be able to, I might be able to do two, two melee in the, in the tank plus the bard. I might be able to do it, but, uh, I think the beast lord and the monk are going to be keeping me, uh, pretty busy. Uh, and I, I, I can still do the auto follow uh, kind of trick that I've been doing with IS Boxer. Uh, but sometimes you want to be able to leave characters at a certain location, pull to them versus having them on auto follow all the time, which is uh, 
I will see. We will, we will see how that goes. But uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna pick up this series again uh, at some point in the future. And uh, once I've decided on what that new class is going to be, it's gonna be the leveling of that class. So if it's a cleric, we're gonna be leveling a cleric. And uh, we might have to uh, see. I might already have a cleric that it's at a you know a, a decent level. I know I have one cleric on Ferona Vi that has uh, his four pearls already, so that might be something I might just pick him up. So where whatever he's at, I need to get them. I think they're at eighty five right now, maybe eighty six. So we will uh, get them, get them all hooked up and good to go. Uh, and this is still on hold because of Yelenek. And so with uh, with that, right, uh, I, I kind of skipped over the line right here, but uh, probably at the end of Lucklin or the end of Planes of Power, I am going to s no longer do the Zek Brothers. Uh, it's just become way too draining on, my, on me. And that's probably because I'm like leading a guild and doing all kinds of stuff. And it's just, it's lost its fun in a sense that I, w I just want to play the game. I don't want to deal with other things that involve that. So uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, we still have, you know, four four to six weeks of uh, Velos left and then uh, Lachlan starts and then at the, probably around the end of that or the end of Planes of Power, which is uh, back all the way in January. So we got plenty of time. Uh, Lachlan starts in November, so either January or uh, whatever is after whatever 14 weeks from January <laughs> like March I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out as long as I can but uh, it's causing too much stress for me and uh, like my whole family since the the raid times are way earlier than I expected and I, I set the raid times in the summer not even thinking about the fall that's kind of what screw me over uh, Adventures of Voxel and Stasi, uh, Necro Druid Mage. Uh, so this is like a fun series. I like in, I like doing it. Uh, it's been fairly fairly inconsistent because all the other stuff I'm doing on Yellowneck, right? I I have to gear my characters up, get them raid ready, and stuff like that. So it doesn't leave much time to uh, mess around with these guys. So that's unfortunate for me, but uh, I do have a plan for the next few episodes for them. And hopefully I can get them recorded, but uh, the future looks good for them. So, uh, let's see here. Where am I at here? <laughs> okay. Uh, things, right? I joined the EverQuest Community Resource Council. Uh, everything is NDA, so I can't discuss any of that stuff. Uh, I know that my videos have been seen by people, and uh, uh, some of my suggestions uh, might make it into the game. But uh, if you have ideas and you want to uh, make the game better, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what it is, and we can I can uh, I can see if it's worth making a video out of to uh, help uh, help the game because that's what I want. I want the game to be solid. I want it to be great. I I love EverQuest. It's the best MMO on the market right now. Health and wellness. Uh, yeah. So since we uh, you know. What has it been? Uh, <laughs> last year, maybe two, since the lockdowns, right? Uh, it's been, it's been nothing but video games, and uh, I've gotten out of shape. I'm tired. I'm exhausted all the time. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not sleeping well. I, uh, I stay up till three or four in the morning, and I make videos. Uh, I, I have like forty videos, maybe fifty videos that I need to edit, to upload. I've, I've gotten so behind i'm just creating stuff without fixing and releasing it right and uh so that's something i gotta work on and uh that's you know like the raid schedule that i have is really is really been you know hampering that so uh that's something i need to work on my sanity uh leading a guild is not for the <laughs> for the faint of heart uh there's so many like little nitpicky things that come and I honestly wasn't prepared like uh, you know I think we started the guild when uh, it was just like a few of us right and uh, it grew into something much much larger that I was not prepared to handle and uh, I am I'm I'm losing my sanity because 
people complain about the most asinine things that like to me it just don't matter right i don't i don't care about a lot of the little i don't care about items that much right i you know i get an item i get an item i don't really care outside that uh it's you know it helps me the items are there to help me make get to the next content right and i don't care other than that right and if, if it helps if giving someone something gives them makes them better enough to help get to the next tier i'm all for it right i don't care outside that and a lot of people don't feel the same way and maybe it's just i have a different kind of mindset and like i have maybe I have a hardcore mindset for for everquest and a lot of people have the casual uh mindset and i think it's a huge disconnect for me and uh a lot of other people so uh it's just causing me causing me more issues than it likes but uh but we're, we're working through it and uh whatnot so streaming i kind of stopped streaming there for a week or two i just like i tried streaming to youtube and it just doesn't work uh i'm probably gonna give youtube one more try and uh so that'll after this video comes out it'll, i've already made a decision because uh, tonight's stream night and i'll be streaming uh here in what a uh, few hours so two, two hours jeez uh maybe three but uh yeah that should that should be seven central not uh six central but whatever uh, uh yeah so that those are you know those are the raid nights we raid uh thursday tuesday friday at seven central and it's it's causing me more issues than I'd like and that's something I'm gonna work on in the future but uh, I can't do anything about it right now <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to finish out the current expansions and stuff like that I, I don't want to just vanish uh so yeah but YouTube's having issues with my uh, ISP for some reason I don't know I like I have issues uploading videos too uh it's not just streaming so I'm uh I'm gonna probably go back to Twitch. If it fails tonight, I'll be back on Twitch anyway. So uh future me. <laughs> probably right. And if if I go back to Twitch, I'm gonna probably just stay on Twitch until it dies. A horrible death and fire. But uh that'll be kind of the, the point of that. And I'll be continue streaming the raids until I no longer raid, and then I'll switch to uh a uh probably a two day a week stream schedule, probably uh tuesdays and fridays or something like that at a way later time like nine central maybe 10 central i am a i'm a night owl and uh it just works better for me that way but uh whatever works is gonna work and i apologize for all the flip floppity flip flop nonsense on uh twitch and youtube it's just my isp is terrible all right future ideas so i've been trying to think of some different ideas that i can do uh, like a little mini series things that can be fun uh so moon kitties this was like a highly requested series and i was trying to figure out how i can do moon kitties and make it fun and so i've settled on moon Qu <laughs> moon kitties the quest for the vaniki mask uh so on the vaniki server there's a challenge to get to level 60 and you get a uh a uh you can claim a vaniki mask on any server and uh so i'm like wow that's a good idea because uh, i really want to get the veniki mask on all my characters and uh so <laughs> i'm uh i'm gonna do that and that is gonna be what it is it's gonna be a multi-boxing true boxing series notice i'm going true boxing on probably everything no more ice boxer or anything else uh so that'll be at some point it'll be a full uh moon kitties uh, so it'll be all Vash vashir i'm fairly sure i can do all vashir and have a, a viable group and we will uh start and only do moon uh we will only level in luckland uh we'll do the tutorial because that gives us some op armor but we'll, <laughs> we'll stay on the moon we'll finish up uh one to 60 on the moon and i think by then the vaniki will have like a 65 cap i believe is where it'll be at i'd have to look at the in-game calendar again but we're gonna start that up sooner or later and it's gonna be a mini series obviously i'm not gonna stay there and i'm not gonna raid or anything i'm just gonna 
show my progression to 60 and uh, do it true box style. So that'll be fun. Uh, probably, I don't know how many episodes it'll be, but it, I don't think it'll be more than 10. Uh, heroic level 100 guide. So heroic level 100 came out. Uh, the boosts you can buy, they came out not too long ago. And I was going to start making guides on all of them. And I just got busy with Yelenek. Just too much stuff to do there. That is, it just takes my time. But I'm considering doing uh, 16 videos. Because <laughs> there's 16 classes, right? Uh, each video would be a different class. And just kind of show, you know, maybe maybe each one would be more than 16. You know, maybe more than 16 videos, right? There's a few videos, I could see a few videos like, you know, setting up, you know, where to go, you know, where to get started, you know, things like that, hotkeys and all that kind of cool stuff that I could do. I can, so I can see a lot to it. Uh, it's going to be Ferrona of Eye based. Uh, I did a poll and uh, Ferrona of Eye won by a long shot. So everything is going to be, <laughs> everything, everything I do is probably going to be on Ferrona of Eye unless, uh, Unless there's a compelling reason for it not to be on Ferno Vibe, but uh, uh, it's just right now it's hard for me to justify 40 times 16 since like I kind of let the YouTube channel die and it doesn't really make any money anymore. So uh, maybe I can fix that uh, coming up. I don't know if you can re re revive a dying YouTube channel. I don't know if it's possible. I'm gonna try and see. I've got. I'm gonna start planning content again. I stopped doing all that and whatnot so that'll be that and i'll uh i'll probably do those i, I i'm gonna do ranger first i know that for a fact because i already have the ranger and ready and i just haven't boosted it asking to record all that so that's gonna come sooner or later hopefully sooner so it's still relevant uh and then i want to go back and finish all the epic 1.0 1.5 and 2.0s uh I've currently done Warrior, Shadow Knight, Bard, Shaman. Um, yeah, I have uh, I have my Monk on Ferona, not Ferona Vibe, but on uh, Yelenak that's almost done with the Epic. And I've, I've been recording all those. And then my Cleric on Yelenak is gonna be the next, I think probably the next one. I think I'm very close to finishing that Epic. I think I just need like one or two drops and after that, I wanted to do the Enchanter Epic, but it is still a mess on Yelenak to do. Uh, and I'm doing them all in Yelenak, honestly, because I, I, I use these classes. <laughs> I'm using my Shaman, I'm using my uh, Bard, you know, I'm using all these classes there. It's just harder to kill the Epic mobs because I can't do them myself, right? I need I need a raid to go kill Trakanon. I can't just go kill Trakanon like I can on live in one hit. So it takes a little bit more time. Uh, it's just a matter of getting it done. But uh, I'm going to probably do all the 1.0s. And then uh, the 1.5s and 2.0s will be done on uh, Throne of Eye characters. Uh, I think I have most classes already at, you know, levels of usefulness on Throne of Eye. Uh, but we'll go through and do all those. I'm going to finish all those up. I, I really enjoy the quest and I really read them, like reading them out and stuff. All right, other games. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 got an update. Uh, 1.6 looks good. I'm going to probably uh, give that a shot, do a playthrough on that game. I still haven't played it. I hyped that thing up for like a year, and then it just was terrible. Uh, I'm, I'm using the, like a 3080 or 3090 now, so I should be good. Maybe the 4090s will be out by then, and I can just... Switch to that and the game should be playable at uh, 60 frames per second, uh, hopefully. Uh, let's see, Final Fantasy 14. I never finished this and I'd, li I'd like to go back and finish it. So I might do that. I might take some time uh, after the uh, the raid stuff's done, maybe play a different game for a little while. So I'm looking at uh, Final Fantasy 14, Elder Scrolls Online, like a fresh, you know, playthrough one to I think the level 50 is the level cap in that game. Maybe 1 to 50, do the new content. It all scales, so I think you can do it. There's a new expansion that just came out for that game. Uh, you know, sounds sounds fun to me. Uh, but let me know. Uh, Elden Ring, right? I started playing that, and then Yelnak hit, 
and I stopped. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking about a fresh start because I was looking looking around. It looks like they've like nerfed every every build and changed everything. So probably want to start over, make a new character, you know, have fun and try that. I'd like to really finish that game. It uh, looks pretty awesome. Let's see here. But I'm also open to suggestions. Uh, if there's a game that you think you want me to play or you think I might enjoy based on, you know, what you've seen, uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, leave a comment. Tell me the game and I will try it. If you are a game developer and you uh, want me to play a game, your game, send me uh, a Steam link and I'll buy it and I'll try it. And uh, whatever else, uh, let's see here, where am I at? That's, I guess I did not, I didn't leave a slide. Uh, but so in the, in the queue of future ideas, right? So I've, I've come to the conclusion that I hate my job and I want to uh, change what I do. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I've, I, I know I've kicked around a game dev series for a while. Uh, I do a lot of development. And I would like to uh, probably try that. I'm got to plan it out. It's got to be a lot more, a lot more work than what I put into my normal videos, right? More editing, more, uh, more memes, I guess, uh, to, you know, to be popular. So I'm going to, uh, start looking at that and, uh, taking it serious. And, uh, I'm not going to make a new channel or anything. It's just going to be. You might get one video one day, you might get another video another day, you know. It's uh, gonna be kind of like that. And uh, I have an idea. I don't, I was gonna originally use Unity and I've decided I'm just gonna start from scratch with my text editor and the uh, OpenGL, maybe SDL2, and just build my own, my own stuff and kind of document the process, right? It's not gonna be a tutorial per se, but more of a devlog series. And I think it'll be fun for me, uh, <laughs> hopefully be fun for, you know, everybody else, you know, and I know some of that stuff might not be what people want to see, you know, uh, they might just want to see EverQuest content. I understand. I, uh, you know, I have, I just, I can't make everybody happy and I'm going to try a lot of different things. I'm going to see whatever I can do to try and save the channel and, uh, continue to have fun and, uh, do that so that is that that is uh kind of where i'm at and uh sorry for the, no updates for the last few months uh and the the, sh the lack of videos right i used to drop a video or two a day now i'm dropping like one a week and i want to get back to making more content and that's, that's where i want to do i just need to get to a better place for myself but uh here's the youtube channel here's the twitch Here's the Twitter that I don't use and the Reddit that I don't use anymore and the Discord. Uh, on the Discord, you can chat with me if you want. And uh, Odyssey, I, I honestly haven't even clicked that link in a long time. <laughs> so I don't, I don't even know if it still exists. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and checking out the channel update. But uh, that is the October 2022 channel update. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day. Thank you.